What's up, guys? Welcome back to Code Wizard. Today, we're going to be talking about how to run Python programs in VS Code. So real quick, we're going to just go over the installation of Python. Now, if you already have Python installed, feel free to skip this part of the video. Now, to install Python, all you have to do is go to python.org. When you get to the home page, click on Downloads. Now, once you get to this page, it should show you the current operating system you're running on. And then from there, all you have to do is click on Download Python. Note that at the time of this video, currently the latest version of Python is 3.9.2. So this number might be slightly different depending on when you're watching this video. So just go ahead and click on Download. Now, I'm running this on a Mac, so you can see that it has downloaded a uh, .package folder here. So all you have to do is click on it once it fully downloads and then the installer will open up. So to install Python, just go through the installation process here, which is no different than installing any other program on Mac. Just hit continue, 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 hit I agree, and then click on install. And then from here, it might ask you for your password. You'll see this pop up here. This is just showing you what was downloaded with Python. Just go ahead and click on the X button. And then that's it. As you can see, it just says, congratulations, Python 3.9.2 for Mac OS has been successfully installed. So go ahead and click on close. And then it will ask you, do you want to move the Python installed to the trash? We don't need this anymore, so feel free to click on move to trash. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up VS Code and I have the welcome screen here. I'm going to close it out. And before we get going with writing a quick Python program and running it, there is one extension for VS Code that I recommend you install. So go ahead and click on the extensions button here. And then just type in Python. And it should be that first uh, link here. So it says Python by Microsoft with 33 million downloads. Uh, what this extension does is it just gives you further functionality when it comes to Python programs such as linting, debugging, code formatting, etc. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, linting just checks your code for errors. Debugging is to find problems in your code. Code formatting just formats your code in a specific way to make Python programming easier. Uh, and, you know, we also have IntelliSense, which basically kind of like auto-completes what you're about to type with Python. So go ahead and click on Install. And then we'll say this extension is enabled globally. It is installed in VS Code. Now what we'll do is we'll create a Python program and run it in VS Code. So I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to click on the Explore button here. And I'm going to click on Open Folder. Now I already have a folder made called Python Demo. If you don't have a folder made, just click on New Folder and name it whatever you want. I'm going to click on Open. And then from here, I'm going to click on this button where it says new file and we're going to create a Python file. I'm going to call it demo.py. Notice I put .py, which is the extension for Python files. Press enter. Here we have the demo.py file and I'm just going to type in print hello world. So what this program does, it simply just prints hello world to the terminal. Now to run this program, all we have to do is hit the terminal button here and click on new terminal. And then from there, it should show you whatever current directory you're in. And for those of you who aren't familiar, directory is just another name for a folder. So we're currently in the python-demo folder. And then from here, all you have to do is type in python3 space demo.py, which is the name of the program. Press enter. And then you can see it prints hello world to the terminal. So that is all you have to do in order to run Python programs. Remember that you must be in the same directory that your actual Python program is located. So you can see this demo.py uh, program is located in the python-demo folder. And then again, all you have to do is type in Python3 space name of the program, which is demo.py press enter, and it should run successfully. So that's all you have to do to run Python programs. If you want more information, you can just come to the python.org website and click on docs in the top, and that will open up the documentation for Python, which contains all the information you'll need in order to write Python code. 
If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.